In the heart of Kenya, nestled against the backdrop of Mount Kenya's majestic peaks and the Abadea Ranges, a revolution in education and technology is unfolding. Dedan Kima, the University of Technology, is leading Africa's leap into the future, a beacon of innovation, resilience, and African ingenuity, fusing education with the power of the metaverse and industry 4.0. Our project is to work on uh, uh, for industrial revolution, what we call uh, industrial metaverse. Uh, this industrial metaverse is to try to take um, the machine, the physical machine, the uh, physical machine ideas of development to the digital infrastructure. At the core of this transformation is the C4 project, a visionary initiative aiming to harness the power of the metaverse and the fourth industrial revolution technologies to reshape skills development in technical and vocational education and training to vet. I'm here in a training concerning the virtual reality, the VR. And uh, I've just had a class about the sensors. We are here for the capacity building on Industry 4.0 training. We are focusing on virtual reality and the augmented reality, then industrial uh, internet of things. Because we want this uh, machine to communicate and somebody can be able to understand. If I have a virtual machine, I can be able to control a physical machine. That is a higher level of the end goal. But for now, to be able to train the TVET on the basics, because these people from the TVET institution, uh, we have realized there is that mismatch. That mismatch between what industry needs and what is being trained in class is a problem. Guided by the leadership of Professor Engineer Jean B. Biringiru, the Dikut Semen Center is leading Africa in building virtual mechatronics labs, immersive, interactive environments where tomorrow's engineers and technologists are trained today. We try to bring the branded infrastructure which can allow people to be immersive and to be able to visualize and be able to interact so that the learners are not just uh, spectators. So it means if you have 10 people or 20 people in one machine, they may not be able to interact with the physical machine. But if the virtual machine is there in a laptop of everybody, it can be easily a student can be easily interact with it. And also we can build infrastructures which doesn't exist at the market. In recent world skills competitions, a gap emerged between the skills taught and needed. The quote saw not just a problem, but an opportunity to transform Tibet education for an entire continent. The solution, blended learning environments that match the real and the virtual, ensuring no learner is left behind. Students work with cutting-edge technologies virtual reality, augmented reality, artificial intelligence, and the industrial internet of things. They don't just learn, they innovate. Patrolling with Tiveta, the coach is also empowering a new generation of trainers through a rigorous that-day training of trainers program. Selected experts under the T5 are becoming the stewards of this technological revolution. My expectation is to get as much as possible uh, uh, as a pertains to virtual reality in training, so that wherever I go at my at my working station, I can apply the same uh, to enable my trainees get the information that is required through the VAR technology. Uh, with the help of this training, that is very relevant, that deals with uh, creating a virtual reality for the machines that does that, that don't exist on ground, we'll be able to design them and. Uh, facilitate uh, or use them for teaching in the classes. Moving where the sensors are in the VR. Huh? So you see how I'm moving? To the workstation where we have the sensors and where we have the different materials. In a physical class, you could move from one particular station to pick a material huh? so that uh, you can uh, uh, see the sensitivity of the sensors. But in the virtual class, uh, you, you are at a particular point and then uh, you are uh, doing the task interactively. At the same time, you can uh, have the explanations behind the principles of each sensors by just at a station that where you are working on. So the VR uh, is somehow better than the physical environment as far as the disability, and especially the physical one, the way I am now in teaching. 
but I'm well equipped with the development of these uh, programs and the machines. I'll just give uh, back to my institution. I'll build on this and build or develop machines that we don't have there that will be used for training by maybe teaching my fellow trainers and showing them the skills that I've learned from here. The journey doesn't stop here. In May 2025, Dikut will host a landmark workshop bringing together leaders from academia, industry and government. Together, they will shape a sustainable national model for integrating fourth industrial revolution skills into divert curricula across Kenya and beyond. In March 2025, Dikut's vision was validated when Professor Steve Laver, a pioneer of virtual reality and founding member of Oculus VR, visited the university, recognizing its leadership in virtual skills training. At Dedan Kimmath University of Technology, the future isn't something we wait for. We build it brick by brick, line of code by line of code, dream by dream.